Flash back to July 2015. After 15 years of promoting and convincing others to be better Muslims, making every decision in my life centered around Islam, I found out that the religion I believed in with all my heart was false. So I did what any good person would do. I started telling others. I didn't want anyone else to make the same mistake I made. Early on, there was a young boy who contacted me from Saudi Arabia. He had memorized one third of the Quran. He told me that he somehow ran into my coming out video and read my blog and then he saw all my videos and now saw the world differently. His eyes were opened. Imagine this kid would have grown up and passed on Islam to his kids. Growing up in Saudi Arabia, he would have been a true believer. There's even a chance he could have been radicalized by more extreme groups. How many young Muslims in the UK, never mind Saudi, went to join ISIS? But now there's a wrench in all that. He has seen the arguments for Islam are not as strong as they seem to be. All the way from Canada, I was able to have that impact. Then, there's a young Pakistani boy in America who felt that my video on the burden of memorizing Quran really connected with him. His father forced him to read Quran every day instead of studying math and science. He hated it. He wanted to learn something useful and instead his father was wasting his life away on memorizing Muhammad's words. My productivity waste of memorizing Quran video really touched him because this is what he went through. Then there was a man in Syria who was in the heart of the fighting. He read my content, he watched my videos and he messaged me about how he doesn't believe in Islam anymore and wanted help. Imagine that, quitting not just Islam but fighting for Allah. And then there was an article written in the Austrian newspaper Datum. The heading translates to how a young Viennese woman becomes a fundamentalist Muslim and swears off faith again. She had converted to Islam and as you can imagine many converts do, took it all the way to being a devout believer. She mentions and sincerely thanks me for my blog, helping her find her way through Islam. To all the young girls who are forced to cover in hijab and be a good Muslim girl, to the parents who want to buy a home and are told interest is forbidden, to the musicians who just want to listen to music and sing, to the artists who want to paint pictures and do photography but are told it's all haram. For all of you guys, I'm here. What is my purpose, my mission? To fight back against the dawah machine. To push back against the multi-million dollar dawah organizations and countries who want to keep Muslims in the dark and want to keep pushing Islam for people to convert to without really knowing what it is. My blog is banned in many Muslim countries. For example, UAE, Pakistan, Saudi, and some others. To fight the radicalization of our youth, to give people a reason to at least doubt so that they don't throw their lives away for nothing and bring us down with them. Like when the Muslims in Egypt voted for the Islamist Muslim Brotherhood Party. We don't want Islamic law coming back in any form or shape. Islam can wipe out a native culture. It can erase the traditions and clothing and music and replace it with drab Islamic values. Look at a traditional wedding and look at an Islamic wedding and see what I mean. The Muslim population is now 2 billion. At current birth rates, this is going to continue to grow. If we don't do something about Islam, we might find it slowly encroaching on our lives. For the sake of minorities, LGBT, ex-Muslim, then even Muslim minorities like Shias or Ahmadis who are persecuted and even killed for their beliefs, we have to do something. All of us have to make a choice. Which side are you on? Are we going to spend money to build the world that we want? Are we going to put in energy for that? We need to decide. Make your decision. What have I done about it? What are my results? Well, I've had 6.7 million views on my YouTube channel now. Thousands of tweets and Facebook posts that I've done. Hundreds of posts on my blog, which is a reliable source for those wanting to leave Islam. I've covered every major topic including women's rights, Muhammad's immoral actions, the question of hell, stories in the Quran, philosophical questions like the problem of evil, the barbarism of Islamic law, academic criticisms of Islam such as the preservation of the Quran, problems with the Hadith, contradictions between science and the Quran. Maybe I'll write a book one day. I've done response videos to Muhammad Hijab, Noman Ali Khan, Yasir Qadi and other less known Muslim apologists as well. Did I help anyone leave Islam? Yes. I have an ever-growing list of those who were kind enough to allow me to share their stories on my blog. For each one of these, there are at least 10 more who I help reach out to me. The real number is far more. How can you help? Do something today that your future self will thank you for. 
each video takes me approximately 10 to 30 hours to make and then YouTube goes and automatically flags almost every single one of them as potentially sensitive. So ad income is not reliable. You however can help me make it sustainable. When I have 100 members, I will be able to add subtitles to my most important videos. When I reach 500 members, I'll be able to hire an editor and assistant to pump out more videos. Let's make this happen. You can join my channel on YouTube. Click join now below. If you can't do that, consider a one-time donation, but a monthly one, even if a smaller amount will help make this much easier for me to continue this work. But realize this, I will continue doing this no matter what. I want to leave a better world than the one that I got. If you appreciate this work and want to contribute or show your thanks, here's your chance. Sign up now and join the team. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and share the videos with as many people as possible. This is also very helpful. It's going to be hard, but hard does not mean impossible. Let's change the world together. This is Abdullah Samir signing out.